The, or, yeah. the original parent body, if it was 100 kilometers across, would have been a terrifying sight in the day sky and the night sky if it was a discharging comet. Mm -hmm. It would have been enormous and terrifying. And it yeah. would have gone behind the sun and maybe come out as two terrifying pieces connected, uh, uh, just like Biela. And right. not only did it almost eliminate all of humanity 12,800 years ago when huge pieces impacted the ice sheet, uh, spraying ice bolides into space, which re-entered and formed the, the millions of Carolina bays, shaking the earth as a nine magnitude earthquake for 24 hours. It must have been terrifying. It killed 65% of the megafauna in the Northern Hemisphere. Think about it this way. When we talked about Comet Biela last week, um, which at the time that it interacted with our atmosphere was fairly broken up. And, you know, what ap it appears that what happened is, is interacting with our atmosphere created a bunch of spontaneous fires all across the Midwest of the United States. That's a relatively insignificant event. It's not, right? I mean, on the human level, it's huge. But then imagine a, a comet or two comets that are significantly larger than that, you know, interacting with our surface and our atmosphere and the kind of destruction that that could cause. <laughs>